ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pastor Rosemary, and this is Pastor Rosemary's Final Prophecy Watch. A lot has gone on this past weekend. On uh, the 24th, last Friday, there was the exit, the vote, and the exit of England uh, and also Wales from the European Union, and they're calling it Brexit. If I'm saying that right, Brexit, to indicate sort of a British exit from the European Union, which is a big, big deal, and it, it, it tumbled and, and made all the markets dive. And on Monday, uh, on the 27th today, the, the American markets, you know, fell as well. Uh, you know, since all of this has been going on, it's, it's lost. It's gone from 18,000 to around seven, a little more than 17,000. Uh, 17,100 some, something like that so it's, it's, it's everybody's feeling it and there's a lot of talk about maybe Ireland and Scotland also leaving the European Union so there's all kinds of different bantering about going on and it of course depends on what the Fed's going to do how the markets are going to respond because there's always ways to patch these things up there was also though however very unfortunate uh Circumstance with a protest that went on in California, uh, I think I believe it was around Sacramento, around that area, where there was a right-wing protest that was just there was just going to be sort of a freedom of speech, a right-wing group freedom of speech protest, and the anti-right-wing freedom of speech protest people came out to do battle with them and indeed battle was done and, and the last that was heard um, from the news sources were that about 10 people well, were taken to the hospital about 7 were crit critically wounded there were people who had uh, their heads injured by uh, people hitting them with large sticks and also some people were stabbed with knives so it was a, a very ugly situation and there, you know, the police officers were there to try to allow the right wing protesters, you know, it was, it was a group of various groups to protest that were in alignment, but it got so that they, they you know, it, they weren't able to peacefully protest because the anti right wing groups became violent and then violence ensued. So, again, that was a very unfortunate situation because freedom of speech is one of our most dear, dearly held American rights. And we should all make sure that we retain our constitutional rights. That everybody should have the right to speak in public places in a, under certain formats. Because at this point, whoever is the loudest and the, and the biggest bullies seem to win. And, and that's but, you know, but bullying can always accelerates. And at this point, you, you don't want to give people a reason to feel they have the right to bully you back, no matter what side of these coins you're on. So just remember that there comes a point where this is where, you know, this kind of vengeance that never ends, it's sort of the the story of Moby Dick and, and, and Ishmael and, and, and revenge and how revenge really, if you, if you seek revenge, you end up in a very difficult place. It's better to not seek revenge but to find the good in every situation and, and try to find your lawful way through and continue to do things in a way that makes you look like an upright citizen which causes the other to look like they're losing their cool and that's the best way to go uh, because it's never good to lose your cool so that that's uh, this is, we'll see where these situations go and we'll see if the markets indeed recover or if there's going to be a, a necessary correction, a, a true correction, to let things be a little more healthy rather than 
just allowing a lot of overinflated and and sort of unreal markets that seem like a house of cards or a paper tiger that really don't have any substance because people are going to feel better with substance. And I said once that I didn't understand what Janet Yellen meant when she said uh, that she was going to afford us qualitative easing instead of quantitative easing. And I wasn't sure what that meant, but what it really does mean, I mean, I knew, but I didn't know exactly how they were going to how they were going to make that happen. It's basically, you don't, you might not have a lot of pennies, but you might have a one one hundred dollar bill, or something like that. What you get, you might get less of it, but it'll be uh, of higher value, and that's what it means. And that feels, that makes people feel better. But we don't want it to be so where you, uh, up to a point where you can't where you can only have a few. We want it to be something where you can build with effort. And I think that's what we're doing. And that's probably going to go in a good direction. All right, thank you for joining us. This is Pastor Rosemary, and this is Pastor Rosemary's Final Prophecy Watch. And you stay frosty.